Oh, yes, friend. Yes. Holy shit. Show me what you got. Oh, awesome, friend. And before we became the castaways, this is how it all started. Enjoy it. Literally traveled a thousand miles. Oh yes! Look at the size of it! Good morning from a little tropical island in the Great Barrier Reef and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, um, Fran and I are going up the east coast island hopping. This is three weeks at sea so far um, and we're out of food we're solely living from the ocean so today we need to catch a bit of tucker Fran's got a little popper casting out over this reef flat and there's been some mullet getting through the shallows here which might cop a hand spear if they come too close and he popped now oh what was that bust up to the left We'll keep heading around. Looks like we've got some bow waves cruising down here. I think they're mullet. Oh, they're off pretty deep, but. Nah. Bugger. Oh, there's a turtle just there. We're not that hungry. We're not going to eat a turtle, but we've been treating ourselves to a huge dog tooth tuna that Fran shot. Yes! Oh, that's so awesome, friend. If you haven't seen that episode, you got to check it out. It was awesome. So we've been... Oh, Trevally just here, friend. Just do a little pop in front of them. See them there in the shallows? Oh, they're getting excited for it. Oh, here they come, here they come. Oh, yes! Yes, friend! <laughs> Woo! There's Brecky. Get him up. Get him up the beach. Walk him up the beach. Yeah. Good catch. Oh, come on back. Breakfast Trevally. How cool is that? Sight casters. What I was saying is that dog tooth tuna has finally almost run out. So it's been feeding us for a couple of days. We've got one tiny little bit left, but that means now we've got to catch some more fish. Oh, not again. Oh, just when we thought we had a good campsite. This is a crocodile track. Oh, down and into the water. And it's how you tell how fresh it is. This was the high tide line a couple of nights ago. And then this is the high tide line last night. So it's been in, in the last couple of days. That's crazy. Here's another crocodile saw. This is a substantial crocodile. Where we go in here, it's here. So this is his claws. As he's come in there, as big as my hand. Oh, here's a good, here's a good footprint. Look at that claw. And then he slid back into the water. There's a shark here. School of mullet here, we're both hunting the same thing. Long time booking it. Prime little spit here, isn't it? Oh, there's mullet all around it. Look at all the ripples there. I wonder if they're all mullet. Oh, yeah, yes. Woo we got something. Wow. Imagine the crocodile comes in. Comes in, hits the fish. Just look out behind us, eh? Hey, crocodiles. Yeah, this place is absolutely wild. Crocodiles, sharks, GTs, dugongs. dugongs, turtles. Look at all the mullet there. Oh, there's a school of trevallies coming in. How cool. I'll just bring him up to the beach here, eh? Ooh. 
Come on. Hey, beautiful GT. Just get him up here a little bit and get the hooks out. Right. Get him back in the water there. Go for it, mate. You're off. How cool. Thought it was a reef patch out here. It's just a whole bait ball getting harassed by sharks and trevally. Cast into it, friend. Perfect. Yeah, nice. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. Woohoo. How good's that? Oh, nice. That was sick strike. There's a couple of them there, Trevally's. Yeah, nice. That's awesome. Oh, how cool. Got the dog taking for a walk. Phew. Nice one. Let him go away, we've got enough. Yeah. Send him. <laughs> Thanks, good boys. Good job. Oh, you got it? No. Oh, look at him going at it. Yes. Phew. This place is crazy. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, it's a queen fish. Woo -hoo -hoo. Nice queenie. Yeah, he swims off fine. One started about 50 metres that way and has walked just above the high tide line the whole way down the beach to the end of the spit. Crazy. This bloke here has done the lap of the whole beach. This other one's gone up and just laid in the grass up there. Busted off his spear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try catch that black GT next to the shark. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, he's, he's looking at it. He's looking at it. Yes, he's got all. Oh. You got him? Yes. How cool was that? Oh, awesome, friend. He's got a black GT. Yeah, black GT. Sight casting. How cool. That was awesome, eh? Hey? Yeah. He comes straight for it. What's that behind him? Shark? Try to get him up, eh? Hey? Ooh! Get him up. Nice. Oh, how cool is he, friend? See you, mate. Good job, friend. That was awesome. Wilson! <laughs> Where do you reckon that's come from? Hey! Little turtle that's about to get a scare when he comes any closer to us.
a bit of a hot spot here in 10 meters of water what do you got oh grassy sweet lip nice one new species oh got some sort of a dog here hey large mouth nanny guy only little one we want this one a lot bigger yeah mate Definitely had some big ones on before, eh? Yeah, I've got the dog. Get up, Ib. Get up, Ib. <laughs> yeah. Nice, friend. Big coral trout. Yeah, bring it this way. Hey. Nice fish. <laughs> He's a very lucky trout, friend. Got one, friend. Coral trout. <laughs> All right, how good this spot? Coral trout, one after the next. Alex, sign me up, mate. I'm ready to be a live trout fisherman. See you, buddy. I've got a small grassy sweet lip. It's pretty big grassy sweet lip, actually. It's huge, really. Oh, oh, set the hook, set the hook. Oh, that could be a big one. Set the hook on him. Oh, yes, friend. Yes. Holy oh. shit. What the hell was that? Ready? The shark. So he just. Whoa. That's wild. Oh. How crazy was his jump? There he is. Jeez, that was lucky. Good job. This could be our nanny. Oh, there he is. Oh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. We got a smoking headline. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Please be a big large mouth nanny guy. Oh, you know it. It's a big large mouth daddy guy. Look at the size of it. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, friend. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, wow. What a fish. There he is, large mouth daddy guy. They're my favorite reef fish at the moment. I'll go through different stages, but I absolutely love these guys. And that's my biggest one yet on the hand line. What a battle that was, that was awesome. Yes. Just walked straight up the beach, set up camp, found two. Near perfect, Nautilus. And this one over here is perfect, no damage at all. We'll get him in the sun. How cool is that? They're like the holy grail of beach combing. So cool. That's awesome. Nautilus Queen, show me what you got. This one is perfect. Wow, it's big too. This one is big. This, one is, big this is incredible. I've never seen anything like this. No, Nautilus so Beach. Throw that whole nanny guy straight on the coals here. Uh, the best way we've found to store a big fish like this, obviously it's too big to eat in one sitting. Cook it all through, put it in a Tupperware container, 
lemon juice if in doubt for the, over the next couple of days and it should last. Oh, sand in Nautilus. How cool. Hopefully that skin just peels away. We've got about 10 kilos of nanny guy flesh. That's all the nanny guy meat that will just peel away from the bone. Beautiful. Let's see if it's any good, eh? Perfect. So much meat. Yeah, we're eating well tonight and the next couple of days. <laughs> Nothing but a skeleton left of our big nanny guy. And as we've pulled in here, we've uh, noticed some beautiful bommies out the front that are likely spot for crayfish. So it's getting on near lunchtime. We're going to um, throw a mask and snorkel on, see if we can grab a couple of crays. Here we are, a couple of beautiful crayfish just in the shallows out the front. What we're going to do, about lunchtime now, we're going to do one up in ceviche, so just straight in lemon juice, and we're going to save two for dinner tonight. Now, chop him up fine. And then ideally this would be better with fresh lemon, and you want to leave that for about 20 minutes. A little bit of salt and a bit of garlic. We are allowed to shoot them here in Queensland with a spear gun. Um, and we only do it if you first of all you can see the cray and notice that his tail's not tucked up That means he's got no eggs and he's all good to take so um, They're the ones we're targeting and yeah, if they're really deep in their holes like that There's zero chance you can grab them. So that's when the gun comes into play. All right, mix it all up and See how it comes out So that's how it turns out after about 20 minutes. You can see it's that change of color um, medium rare style What I'm gonna do Tuck him on a cracker. There we go, see how he turned out. Really good. <laughs> Just when you feel like you've found the most isolated, beautiful island, look at the high tide line. There is plastic, 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 plastic. Thong, rubbish, plastic, plastic, plastic. This looks like a garbage dump. We'll do our best here to collect as much of this as we can. But the reality of it, if we tried to collect everything on the beach, we'd sink the salty dingo on the way home. Seychelles, eat your heart out. <laughs> Let's go catch some fish. So we've just spotted this sand cay that runs in between the two islands and um, generally speaking sand cay is a really good spot to catch trevallies and queenies and those sorts of fish so um, Fran's locked and loaded, she's going to cast a popper and hopefully over to action I'm going to get the drone up and see if we can't spot some fish. I can't believe that Tusker hit a popper. Nice. Hey, good job. Around, we've got a beautiful high tide here, as you can see. So I've got this crystal clear water. Here they come. I'll oh, get the hooks. Yeah, yes. It's a nice fish, eh? 
Hey, oh, beautiful little trevallies in the mangroves. Man, that's so much fun. It's catch and release with these guys. Thanks for the good times, mate. Whew. Overall, it was a little bit quiet. Fish didn't really want to play the game, so we've suited up. We're gonna go see if we can spear some. Picture perfect. So I'm just gonna fillet this fish up. A couple of little ants been into him, but he'll be right. So we normally just cook straight on the fire grill as you guys would have seen, but we did bring a um, fry pan as well. I think it took us about three weeks until we used the fry pan, but it was a, a really nice luxury. And um, I was just found myself really craving some bread crumbed coral trout. So. That's what we're going to go for today, hence why I'm filleting this guy up. How's that for timing? Just as the sun's setting on another day, coral trout fillets are filleted, skinned and boned. That's going to be our tucker, how good. Fran's got a fire going up there as well. What have we got here, friend? Talk us through it. We've got coral trout in breadcrumbs. Yeah. With a little bit of seasoning. And what else have we got? We've got perfectly cooked chips. Wow, well, give yourself a wrap, why don't you? <laughs> Chef? we got a little bit of charcoal bits. <laughs> That's all right. But just so crunchy and, and what? soft inside. Perfect. Perfect. Fish, chips. We've got Shiraz, Shiraz. Shiraz, don't mind if we do. Oh, how good. That's perfect. Look at the fire's going so... Oh, can you get that Tupperware out of the fire? Hey, Quick! That's our last one. <laughs> I hate it when this happens. <laughs> hmm. 